controversial journalist Piers Morgan is back on air following his dramatic resignation from ITV's Good Morning Britain for refusing to apologise to Meghan Markle in a scrap over the royal family. This time, he has turned his attention to Boris Johnson, condemning the lockdown parties at 10 Downing Street, for which 20 fines have today been issued by the Met Police. On the show's Twitter account, at Piers Uncensored, the latest tweet reads, Piers has his say on the absolutely disgraceful lockdown parties that took place in Downing Street. Should Boris Johnson step down if he gets one of the 20 fines being issued by Met Police? The accompanying video, which racked up almost 25,000 views in a matter of a few hours, tackled the contentious topic of lockdown parties. Every one of us made huge sacrifices, here's reason, and some people couldn't see our dying relatives. I think one of the worst things that any government can do is, in a national crisis, order the public of whatever country it may be to do one thing and then secretly themselves, the very people issuing the orders, do another, he announced in the show's trailer. This lockdown party that has rocked Downing Street has resonated throughout the country, because every one of us made huge sacrifices, while Boris Johnson and his staff were gallivanting, apparently on a weekly basis, breaking the very laws inside Downing Street, where they made them, that they were ordering the rest of us to do. Absolutely disgraceful, he concluded. Some of Piers' millions of followers took to Twitter themselves to weigh in on the debate. They knew the chances of being hospitalized and dying from it were so small they took an educated decision to live with the risk, an option not given to the rest of the nation, reasoned at Bolster 70. At Brian 76 you consisted of Boris, he should resign whether he gets a fine or not cause it's proven that he lied to Parliament as there is no way all these parties could be going on without him being aware of them. At Morm 333 concurred, yes you can't have a government breaking the rules that they make and expect the rest of us to follow. People made untold sacrifices that will never be forgotten. He has to resign. A pessimistic at T.C. 1168 chimed in, the only reason why he should not resign is because of the dross who would be queuing up to replace him. However others dismissed Pierre's concerns as ancient history and a non-story, with a chapor declaring, just another one of the media that loves knocking the government. Wise up most of the public have moved on. Meanwhile some social media users pointed out that Piers had enjoyed a Caribbean break while the pandemic raged on, with one even posting a photo of him asleep on a sun lounger to punctuate his point. At Drain underscore Val declared disapprovingly, you told everyone to stay indoors, Christmas is cancelled, then swanned off to Antigua. Now you are banging on about the PM, I agree he did wrong, but you shouldn't be shouting the odds, you are no different. Then at MJF underscore Michael echoed the comments Piers had made shaming Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's public fighting during the war in Ukraine, but applied it to Piers' new show. There's a war going on that could create World War III and yet MSM continue this bashing of the government, he exclaimed. In spite of controversy, Piers' talk TV show will be delivered to the nation's daily on weekday evenings, and the opinionated broadcaster is determined that this time no one can censor his views. Assuring the nation of his delight now that he is returning to live television, he promised he had the intention to cancel the cancel culture which has infected societies around the world. He added, I want it to annoy all the right people, 